Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about apps. In today's video, I will show you guys 10 apps that are super useful and will allow you to do much more with your iPhone and of course make your device more useful by adding some really useful features. And we're starting with the first one, it is called to camera. Now what this app does is basically allowing you to shoot with both the front and the rear camera at the same time. So it's actually pretty cool. First of all, you will have the back camera, which is of course now dark because the iPhone is on the table. And then we have the front facing camera. Now, I can place this anywhere I want, which is really awesome. Here I can switch between photo and video mode. And then I can go right here to the side where I can change the layout. So you can see with just that button, we can quickly change the layout there for the front and the rear camera, which is pretty awesome. And if we go here to the settings, then we can have basically everything customized to our own liking. So if we go here, here we have the appearance. So you can choose the layout right here, and then you can choose the shape of the front camera right there or the picture in picture. And then you can choose the size actually from the small one to the bigger ones right here. You can add a border, you can change the border color. It is actually super useful. And then right here we'll also have all the general settings for this app. Next up is Photo Exporter. This one is super useful as well. It allows us to export photos from your iPhone to a device that you can connect via USB-C to your iPhone or to the files app. So you can see right here we have export to folder. Now you can export photos and videos of your library to a folder or USB drive. That's the first one right there. So you tap right here and you can go ahead and just just go ahead and connect right here to a folder or to a USB drive if you have it connected to your iPhone, which is really awesome. So you will have the image quality right here. And then you can also select the images that you want to actually transfer from your library to your USB device, which is really awesome. And then you will have other things right here, like send to apps, you can send different pictures or videos to your apps, or import and receive photos maybe from different devices or diff different like USB drives to your iPhone. Next up is all tools. Now this is a must have app. It has a ton of different tools that you can use on your device within one app. So here's the app. We have a search bar right there. We can search for any tool you want. And then right here, we have different tools. So right here, instant tools. Then we have here the Wi-Fi tools. You can test your devices, your Wi-Fi speed and all that stuff. You will have a walkie talkie, which you can use actually within the Wi-Fi network. You will have basic tools right here. As you can see the speedometer, you will have here your address, the internet speed, signal strength, everything can be basically tested with these tools. You have color detectors right here for the camera tools, a magnifier. Then you will have the health utility right there, the measure tool, so you can like measure all kinds of different things. The audio tools right here, text to speech, speech to text. You will have some really cool tools right here. Here we have the extra ones. And then you will also have a section here for the more common tools. So you can see you have basically like around 40 or 50 different tools that you can all use them in one place. Next up is a very simple yet very useful app called Legit URL. Now what this app does is allow you to know whether an URL that you want to visit is legit or not. It's actually super cool. You can just test the link and then decide whether you want to open it or not on your device. Now once you have the link pasted, all you have to do is tap check URL and in a couple of seconds it will show you the legit score right there and then you will have the security warnings right here. So you can see we have all the different warnings that it gives you right here, which is really awesome. And then right here, it will show you whether it's trusted or not. So you can go ahead and decide whether you want to visit that website or not. Business Card Maker is up next. A really simple to use app that anyone can use and create their own business cards. This is super cool. So you will have here all kinds of different designs that you can go ahead and pick right here and then tap on create. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and add all the different info right here from your name to your job title, your phone number, of course, address, website, and all that stuff. Then you go to the logo right here, you can add different logos, just load them from your camera roll, and even add a link 
right here to the QR code that you get on the business card. You add maybe your website or your socials right there. And once someone scans that, they will be able to actually open your website or your social media. And then of course, just tap the export button and you're good to go. In a few minutes, you have created your own business card only using your iPhone. Next up is status monitor. This app will monitor your device, your CPU, your RAM memory, your network connections, everything will be monitored by this app. And also the heat here, you can see the thermal state of your iPhone. That's actually really nice to see. And then right here we have the RAM memory. Of course, you can tap on it and you can see all kinds of different details. And what's really cool is that you will also have some really awesome widgets from this app, which then allows to monitor all these things right on your home screen without having to even go into the app. And then right here we'll have the CPU usage. You will have the storage as well. Now going right here into the details, you will see basically everything you need to know about your device. So the main details will be right here, then you will basically have the option to go to the screen info right here, then you will have also the GPU info, and then all the details here regarding the hardware of the device, which is really awesome. And then right here you can export all of these like things to add like a PDF file if you just want to have everything in one place. Curate is up next. Now this app allows us to create QR codes, there are a ton of apps that allow you to do this, but none of them will allow you to customize your QR code as much as this app. Mm -hmm. Tapping the plus button right here, start creating the QR code. And you can see we have the pixel style right there, and we have all kinds of different styles that we can use for our QR code, which is really awesome. So basically everything here can be customized. We have the corners. You can choose the corners, how you wanna apply them. Then you will have here the eye style. So can see all kinds of different styles making it look really awesome so basically the colors the everything can be customized the pixel colors as you can see right here we can go ahead and customize the background as well so with a different color which is really awesome so just create any qr code you want and then go ahead and you can export it or save it to your collections bg shot is up next it allows us to customize your screenshots so anytime you want to share a screenshot you don't want to just share like a simple screenshot that you take with your iphone you can go ahead and just load it on this app and then create and then like an awesome look for your screenshot so then we have the screenshot we can choose here the portrait mode the landscape mode or set a custom one or a square one whichever one we want then tap the edit button and from here you can just start like customizing the look of your screenshot so right there we can add a gradient if you want we can go ahead and change the gradient right here we can add an image or we can add a frame here if we want to add a frame to the like screenshot right there you can see we can add this so we will have a ton of different things here from the frame to the automations of course and we can also add a watermark if we want to and then have this really nice looking screenshot here instead of just sharing a simple image octo subs is up next this one will allow it to track all the subscriptions using your iphone in a very simple way and it's also free so a lot of these apps are actually paid but this one is free totally free and it has a really nice simple interface that has everything that you need so you will have your subscriptions right here you can tap the plus button to go ahead and add a new subscription and then right here at the top you will have the one that is closest to today and then you will have the expenses for the month and then the upcoming payments of course based on the day that you will pay them mm -hmm. and then right here we'll have your subscriptions you can go ahead and view your archived ones your active ones and if you go to one of them you will see all the details you can delete it if you have canceled that subscription and also you can go ahead and edit the subscription if you want to change any details and last but not least is PDF Fox. This is probably the only PDF app that you need to have on your iPhone. Every tool you can think of, you will be able to find them on this app. So right here we have the PDF tools, like reorder pages, edit the PDF, sign the PDF, add a watermark, delete pages, merge pages, browse PDFs, create new PDFs. Then you will have the ability to convert to PDF right here, images, documents qr codes text to pdf and then from pdf to image pdf to document or to sheet so everything you can think of will be right here you can also go ahead and create a new pdf 
using this button or go ahead and load any PDF you want from your files app. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are 10 apps that I think are super useful and you must have them on your iPhone running the new iOS 26. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you want to download any of the apps, check out the pinned comment. All the links will be there. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.